Some people fast for 12 hours, others push it to 72. Both groups swear it works. But here is the truth. Most videos never say, most people are doing fasting wrong. Longer fasting does not automatically mean more fat loss. In fact, fasting too long can quietly slow your metabolism, increase stress hormones, and make weight loss harder instead of easier. And that is the part nobody talks about. Every day, millions of people skip meals hoping the scale will move faster. Some feel dizzy, some feel tired. Some lose weight at first, then suddenly hit a wall. They think the solution is to fast even longer. That is usually the mistake. Fasting is not about willpower. It is not about suffering. And it is definitely not about how long you can stay hungry. Fasting works because of hormones, not discipline. When those hormones shift the right way, fat burning turns on. When they shift the wrong way, your body holds on to fat like it is protecting you. Here is the lesser known fact. Your body has a specific window where fat loss is highest and muscle loss is lowest. Go shorter than that window and fat loss is weak. Go longer and your body starts to fight back. In this video, you will learn exactly how long you should fast to lose weight safely and effectively. You will learn why popular long fasts do not always burn more fat you will learn why some people lose weight on 16 hours of fasting while others fail on 48. And you will learn how to choose the fasting length that works with your body instead of against it. By the end of this video, you will understand why consistency beats extremes. You will know the fasting duration supported by real science, not internet trends. You will also learn the silent mistakes that stop fat loss even when fasting feels hard. Most importantly, you will know how to fast without slowing your metabolism, damaging your energy, or setting yourself up for rebound weight gain. This is not about shortcuts. This is not about starving. This is about using fasting the smart way. So stay with us until the end because the final takeaway might change how you think about fasting forever. Welcome to the channel where we break down health and fat loss using simple science and real facts. If you want clear answers without hype, make sure to subscribe now because the next video could save you months of frustration. Most people believe fasting is a test of pain. The longer you go without food, the stronger you must be. And the stronger you are, the more weight you should lose. That idea sounds logical, so people accept it without questioning it. Social media reinforces this belief every day. Long fasts are praised. Extreme hunger is celebrated. Suffering is framed as proof that fat is melting away, but the body does not reward pain. It responds to signals. Hunger alone does not force your body to burn fat. Feeling weak does not unlock fat stores. Skipping meals for longer and longer hours does not guarantee better results. In many cases, it does the opposite. When you fast, your body is not counting hours. It is reading hormones, insulin, cortisol, glucagon. These signals decide whether fat stays locked or gets released. If hunger was the key, then people who starve would lose fat endlessly. But that is not what happens. The body adapts. It slows down. It becomes protective. It treats long periods without food as a threat, not an opportunity. This is where the confusion begins. People feel hungry and assume fat loss is happening. They feel tired and assume progress is being made. But hunger often rises before fat burning even starts. Fat burning turns on when insulin drops low enough and stays low long enough. That shift does not require extreme suffering. It requires the right timing. When fasting goes too long, stress hormones increase. The body becomes alert. Energy is conserved. Fat loss slows quietly while hunger grows louder. This is why two people can fast the same number of hours and get opposite results. One loses fat, the other stalls. The difference is not discipline. It is hormonal response. Understanding this changes everything because fasting stops being a punishment and starts becoming a strategy 
based on biology, not pain. Most people are taught that weight loss is a simple math problem. Eat less, move more, count calories, and the fat should disappear. But the body is not a calculator. If calories were the only factor, every diet would work the same way. They do not. Some people eat very little and still struggle to lose fat. Others eat more and lose weight easily. The difference is not willpower. It is insulin. Insulin is a storage hormone. Its main job is to move energy into cells. When insulin rises, the body is in storage mode. Fat is protected. Burning fat becomes difficult. Even if calories are low, this is why eating small meals all day often fails. Calories may be controlled, but insulin stays elevated. Fat remains locked inside fat cells. The body is constantly being told to store, not release. When insulin drops, everything changes. The body shifts from storage mode to burning mode. Fat can finally leave fat cells and be used for energy. This is when real fat loss begins. Fasting works because it lowers insulin more effectively than constant eating. Each hour without food allows insulin to fall further, but this process is not instant. It takes time for insulin to drop low enough to unlock fat. This is where many people get confused. They expect fat loss the moment hunger appears, but hunger and insulin are not the same thing. You can feel hungry while insulin is still high, and you can burn fat while hunger feels calm. Food choices also matter. Sugary and refined foods raise insulin quickly. Protein and whole foods raise it less. Fasting removes the signal completely, allowing insulin to fall naturally. The real question is not whether fasting works. It is how long it takes for insulin to drop enough to allow consistent fat burning. Not all fasting hours work the same way. The body responds differently depending on how long food is removed. This is where most confusion comes from. At 12 to 14 hours, fasting begins to make a difference. Insulin starts to fall. The body slowly shifts away from constant storage. Hunger usually increases during this phase because the body is still adapting. Fat burning starts, but at a low level, this window is useful for beginners who are transitioning away from frequent eating. It helps the body learn how to spend time without food. But for stubborn fat, this duration often is not strong enough. Around 16 hours, something changes. Insulin stays low for a longer stretch. This gives fat burning hormones time to rise. The body becomes more comfortable using stored fat for energy. Energy levels often stabilize instead of dropping. Muscle loss risk stays low because the fast is not long enough to trigger strong stress responses. This balance is why the 16 to 8 method works for so many people. Between 18 and 24 hours, fat burning can increase further. The body becomes even more efficient at using fat for fuel. Hunger hormones often calm down after the initial wave passes. However, this is also where stress hormones can rise. In some people, sleep may be affected. Recovery can suffer if this is done too often. This range can be useful occasionally, but it is not ideal as a daily routine. Beyond 36 hours, the benefits begin to level off. Fat loss does not increase much more. The body starts conserving energy. Metabolism may slow quietly. Muscle tissue becomes more vulnerable. Cortisol rises as the body senses prolonged stress. The scale may drop, but much of that loss is not fat. When fasting is studied in controlled settings, a clear pattern appears. Moderate fasting produces steady fat loss without triggering strong stress responses. The body adapts to the routine and becomes more efficient at using stored fat for energy. This adaptation is what makes results last. Researchers consistently observe that shorter repeatable fasting windows improve insulin sensitivity. As insulin control improves, fat becomes easier to access. Energy levels remain more stable. Lean muscle is better preserved. 
These effects are strongest when fasting follows a predictable schedule. When fasting becomes extreme, the response changes. Stress hormones begin to rise. Cortisol increases as the body senses prolonged food absence. Instead of freely burning fat, the body shifts into protection mode. Energy expenditure decreases. Muscle tissue becomes more vulnerable. Fat loss does not accelerate in the way many expect. Another key finding is consistency. The body learns patterns. When meals and fasting windows follow a rhythm, the body adjusts hormone release to match. Hunger becomes more controlled. Fat burning becomes more reliable. Random long fasts interrupt this rhythm and create uncertainty for the body. Studies also show that dramatic fasting does not outperform moderate fasting over time. Initial weight loss may appear larger, but it often includes water and muscle. Fat loss rates even out sustainability drops. The body does not respond well to shock. The sudden extremes trigger survival mechanisms. Gentle, repeated signals create change. This is why fasting works best when it is treated as a routine rather than a challenge. Science does not support the idea that more pain equals more progress. It supports the idea that the body changes when it feels safe enough to adapt. For most people, the most effective fasting window is shorter than expected. 14 to 16 hours gives the body enough time to lower insulin without triggering strong stress signals. This range allows fat to be released steadily while energy levels stay manageable. Hunger usually settles after the body adapts to the rhythm. This window also fits into real life. Meals can be eaten normally. Sleep supports recovery. Workouts still feel productive because it is sustainable. It can be repeated day after day, which is where real fat loss happens. For those with more experience, 16 to 18 hours can work well. The body is already comfortable spending time without food. Fat burning begins sooner in the fast. Appetite control often improves. This range requires more attention to sleep, stress, and food quality, but it can be effective when done correctly. Beyond that point, benefits do not increase in a meaningful way for daily weight loss. Longer fasts are optional. They are not required to lose fat. They do not automatically produce better results. For many people, they increase fatigue and make consistency harder. The body responds best to routines it can rely on. Repeating a moderate fast sends a clear, calm signal. The body learns when to store and when to release energy. Hormones adjust without panic. Fat loss becomes predictable instead of random. The length of the fast matters less than the ability to maintain it. A fasting window that fits your schedule, supports your sleep, and allows proper nutrition will always outperform extreme approaches. Progress comes from repetition, not endurance tests. Even when fasting is done correctly, small mistakes can quietly ruin fat loss. One of the biggest is overeating after the fast. People spend hours without food and then feel justified in eating more than their body needs. The calories consumed in that short window can erase the benefits of the fast and fat loss slows down. It is not about restriction, but about balance. Another common error is fasting too long or too often. Extremes trigger stress responses in the body. Cortisol rises, metabolism slows, and muscle tissue can break down. Instead of steady fat loss, the body starts holding on to energy. Recovery becomes difficult and hunger hormones spike, making the next fast harder to maintain. Ignoring sleep is also a silent killer of results. Sleep regulates hormones like insulin, ghrelin, and leptin. Poor sleep increases appetite and cravings, making overeating more likely. It also raises stress hormones, which can reduce fat burning and increase fat storage. Even a perfect fasting schedule cannot overcome chronic sleep deprivation. Drinking supposedly zero calorie sugary drinks is another trap. Many beverages spike insulin even without calories or create cravings that lead to overeating. 
the body reacts to sweet signals as if food is coming, which can slow fat burning. Sticking to water, tea, or black coffee keeps the fasting benefits intact. Fasting is a tool, not magic. It works when used correctly, combined with proper nutrition, sleep, and consistency. It is not a shortcut or a punishment. The results come from applying it smartly day after day without forcing extremes. Small mistakes, repeated over time, quietly cancel progress. The body responds to patterns, not intention. Understanding these pitfalls is crucial to making fasting work. Fat loss is often misunderstood as a battle of willpower, a test of who can go the longest without eating. Many believe that starving themselves for hours or even days is the key to losing weight quickly. But that approach overlooks how the body actually works. Fat loss is not about starving. The body burns fat when the right hormonal signals are triggered, not simply when calories are restricted. Insulin needs to drop, stress hormones need to remain in balance, and the body needs enough energy to maintain essential functions. Timing matters more than the amount of time spent without food. Strategic fasting aligns with these natural rhythms. Shorter, consistent fasting windows provide the body with enough time to lower insulin and increase fat-burning hormones without causing unnecessary stress. 14 to 16 hours works well for most people, allowing fat loss to occur while energy levels remain steady. For more experienced fasters, 16 to 18 hours can be effective, but it is still consistency that matters most. Extreme fasts might look impressive, but they are often counterproductive, raising cortisol, slowing metabolism, and increasing hunger. The key is not to push the body into survival mode. The most effective fasting is the one that can be repeated day after day, week after week. The body responds to patterns, not extremes. When fasting is done smartly, the results are steady and sustainable. Fast smart, not long. This simple principle changes the way fasting should be approached. It is a tool to work with the body, not against it. Short, consistent fasts create an environment where fat can be burned naturally without stress or extreme deprivation. Ultimately, understanding the timing, listening to your body, and maintaining a consistent routine is far more powerful than pushing yourself to the limit. Fat loss becomes a natural outcome of smart, repeated fasting rather than a result of punishment or extreme hunger. This approach ensures energy stays high, metabolism stays active, and results are sustainable over the long term. If this video helped you understand how to fast smarter and burn fat more effectively, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for simple science-based weight loss tips that actually work. We want to hear from you. Comment below and tell us how many hours do you usually fast. Your experience could help others on their journey too.